responses that came out of that uh, crisis we'll try to understand uh, the complete uh, cycle of that crisis and uh, just to give a brief introduction we know that uh, the crisis that occurred in 2007 it is termed as one of the worst crises after the 1930s after the 1929 the great depression that has occurred in the united states we categorize the 2007 crisis as the most worser kind of a crisis it initially started off in the united states but gradually it has spread to almost all the countries even the remote countries which doesn't have which do not have too much of uh, interaction with the united states on uh, many business front even those countries got badly affected it though it started with the financial markets we have really experienced that the real economy the gdp growth rates of the countries the overall unemployment situation in the various uh, countries they all got very badly affected because of that crisis and uh, a large number of uh, key financial institutions like lehman brothers got completely into disaster lot of organizations lot of uh, top financial firms they got bailed out by the national governments during that time frame financial sector went into ultimate turmoils whatever are the risk management practices that were uh, uh, implemented across the organizations they all got seriously questioned and regulations started improving and regulatory pressures became heavy and heavy as a outcome of that particular crisis now this entire crisis started off with the united states housing market if we look at uh, the data we can clearly see that post the 2000 era so the early 21st centuries we have seen that in the united states the housing prices have gone up drastically and the interest rates during that period were extremely low now what is the consequence of these two things the number of people borrowing the houses borrowing the borrowing for by purchasing houses typically gone up and because the housing prices are going up people were able to sell off the houses uh, let's say at a later date at a much higher price and uh, even the banks did not mind giving the loans because the property values are growing so even if these people were not in a position to pay the principal and the interest the house which is generally used as a collateral that could be sold off to get the loan clarified so this two things the one the drastic rise in the prices of the real estate to the interest rates being low these two have really uh, created a market for the housing in the united states but along with that the lending practices became very poor to grab the market share in the lending market banks became very very relaxed in terms of setting the standards they decreased the quality of the loans that they were giving year over year they came into what is called as subprime loans what is that subprime loan any loan which i am trying to give to a person or to an entity who is really not eligible who is not sound financially or who can who is not in a position to pay the interest and principal so subprime it's a subordinate to the prime prime loan is something which i am giving to a person who is well deserved for it but when i am talking about a subprime i am targeting a person or an entity who is who does not deserve the loan in a regular scenario but i am giving it because i see that keeping the house as a collateral even if this person is not able to repay the house which is acting as a collateral can back up the loan so what we could see is subprime mortgage lending has increased drastically during the period created more risky avenues more risky loans being created by the banks 
and that made the loans being accessible to those who were not credit worthy as well and because these guys also started purchasing the houses the demand for the houses even more go up and which has resulted in the prices uh, in the housing market drastically going up and from the bank's perspective because their market base has actually increased because they were able to lend even to those people who were not credit worthy enough their markets have gone up they did more and more volumes of lending which has resulted in bigger profits for them and still they were not worried because the houses were for which they have typically uh, given the loans they were kept as collateral and uh, because the real estate uh, market is going up and up the value of the collateral which they have kept even was also on the higher side so the banks did not perceive this as a big risk even if the person was not able to pay repay the loan and he had to foreclose the loan what the banks did not uh, experience bigger losses because the value of the property was much higher than the value of the loan that needs to be repaid so the banks were much much safer but at the same time they were able to attract the first time buyers first time housing buyers till date they did not have the access to the loan so they were not able to afford purchasing a new house now that number has increased because banks started looking forward for the subprime lending and in this process a few other things just to attract the first time buyers the valuators the property valuation experts what they have typically done is they have shown the valuations of the property on a very high side all the properties were overvalued all the properties were given very high value why because from the bank's perspective they would always consider the loan to value ratio and the banks always wanted uh, on the lesser side so that they are more and more safer so property valuation consultants because of the growth in the housing sector they started showing very high value to the houses so whatever the loan that has uh, been taken the loan divided by the value the value being much much higher the loan to value ratio was always looking lower which means the banks also felt that these are safer uh, loans because uh, the value of the property is much higher than the loan which they are typically giving but even in that process they started giving a higher loans which means though the value of the property was much lower the valuation experts have shown it as much higher so overall it looks as if the bank started giving a very high loan to value ratio because the value was much higher than what the real value of that property is so the loan to value ratio is drastically increased and even these banks and lending organizations they came up with a new concept called adjustable rate mortgages which is they came up with a teaser loan like okay if it is if in a regular scenario let's say the loans are 8% for a 20 year period now they came up with a slightly different concept they say yes 5% is the interest for first 2 to 3 years and after that it is variable and that variable could be as good as based on a libor probably they may say a libor plus 6% the variable rate could be something like this but initially it is a small 5% kind of an interest so this is a teaser because this is teasing the people to go for it interest is hardly 5% why not take it first two three years yes i'm i'm going to pay much much lesser so obviously it's something that is uh, worth taking so this adjustable rate mortgages which are teaser kind of loans they were implemented for the first 2 to 3 years after that the libor plus 